And the question is, what is the next material? We don't really know, and I, I didn't really thought about this until I finished this rug until a couple of days ago. I was thinking that maybe the next material should go back into we should go back into nature into those ancient grasses into more biological materials so this patch of green wool it's supposed it represents for me it's it's like saying maybe we need biological materials uh, in our next wave of technologies so if we use bio like if we use materials that are more that integrate with the metabolisms and with the cycles of nature then landfills wouldn't be a problem because everything would just go back to the soil and uh, to the processes of nature. So that's that's what I wanted to say there, I guess. I didn't really think about thought about this when I was weaving. I was just doing it and doing whatever whatever I was feeling. But now I've just came up with these ideas about my rug and I just want to share them with people. This part is a little bit I don't know different because <clears throat> hold on <laughs> so yeah uh, this part I I want it to like to ask the question like why 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 the technology has developed in such a rapid phase like from the discovery of fire to the use of wood metal stone microchip how like the learning curve has been so 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 steep like exponentially what whereas like our spiritual growth hasn't been that developed yet we still kill each other for like really not very wise reasons we still have wars people in hunger so that's really the question I was asking and uh, I came up with this concept uh, here I have the, the mountain the sacred mountain of my hometown Teotitlan del Valle uh, which is the place where uh, our ancestors uh, got God's message that that this was the land where they uh, should live. So at the top of this peak is where the spirit of God came and talked to the priests, to the shamans, to the people. So that's why I choose this mountain. At the top of this mountain we have a cross that that was put there by the Catholic priests that were preaching the new religion to our, to our people. So like, this is a Zapotec eagle warrior. This is like a, a, an eagle mask. And this is, these are feathers, but it also has the form of a wing. He's wearing a cape and here he has the the called Greca symbol it's also known as the life cycle symbol and uh, this is the life cycle of a common person then his arm is transformed it was transformed into a snake and he's basically stabbing Jesus on the side this is Jesus he's uh, blonde hair completely naked crucified in a cross upside down and um, yeah so there are many ways to interpret this part of the rug like I say that he is a separate warrior 
taking revenge against Jesus because of the spiritual, mental, and physical conquest of his people. So that's one interpretation. Uh, I also want to say that uh, the eagle represents the spiritual energy of humans. Like the birds, they're, they fly in the sky, they're ethereal, they're detached from the earth. So that's why it represents the spiritual energy. And that energy is stored from the belly button in all the organs, from the heart, the kidneys, all the way to the head. From the navel, from the belly button, to the legs, we store the earthly energy, the material energy, the those things that attach us to this earth. That's why it's represented by a snake. The snake is also known to be the wisest animal walking or on the surface of the earth. So when we balance both energies into one, we become a feathered snake, uh, which is um, called, or like Quetzalcoatl means feather snake, and it's the balance of both types of energy, of both worlds. So <clears throat> another symbol, it's this big diamond, which represents the eye of God. Also, like, when we become aware and more conscious, when we see the world as it is, then without judging, without an inner chattering, or inner dialogue, then we can see the world from the eye of God, from this diamond. So it's like the third eye. And we will see just how the energies flow in the universe. Because our ancestors believed that this world is just an illusion that when we born, we were born using certain lines of energy, but because of society or because the way we live in our routines, we are not open to use other lines of energy. So we don't accept other realities. But when, we, when you see the world through the eye of God, then you see the energy flows as they are, without judging. And then wisdom comes to you in the form of a butterfly. So you can see in the rug, like all these different types and sizes and colors of butterflies. And they are all different because we are all different. And I, you may be able to identify yourself with one of these, with that, one of these colors or combinations. So it, it also means that we, like, you see the like everyone, every head is a different world. Every head, every every human being will see a different butterfly when he sees the world through the eye of God. So, yeah, that's what it means. And the other way of interpreting this um, this uh, part of the design is that uh, here I represented St. Langinus dressed in a Zapotec matter, uh, uh, Zapotec uh, customs. So, it's like saying, okay, we adopt the new religion, but we won't lose our traditions and our, our stories, our belief system. We blend them into one. So that's what happened basically with the religion in Mexico. So St. Langinus has his eyes red. You can barely see it on this video because he's blind. So he got blind on a battle, and uh, they asked him to stab Jesus on the side. And when he did it, the blood that sprinkled into his eyes, or the water uh, that, sprin that sprinkled into his eyes, made him recover his sight. So this is the other way around.